Before starting, you should check a few things on your machine to make sure that it's ready to run. Check the oil and coolant in the engine to make sure they are full and make sure that the battery is charged. Make sure everything is clear, no stuff in the engine or generator, nothing blocking the exhaust, flare or radiator, and that the machine is on level ground. Make sure the ash collection vessel, cyclone ash can, and condensate vessel are all empty. Also, the throttle can easily become gunked up and prevent the engine from starting, so it's important to check it before you try to run the engine. Use your flat blade screwdriver or 8mm nut driver to loosen the hose clamp and pull off the rubber coupler from the throttle body. Now, push down on the valve with your screwdriver to make sure it moves smoothly from fully open to fully closed. If it is sticky, use alcohol, either isopropyl or denatured is fine, to clean it. The best time to do this will be right after you shut down the engine, when any tar will still be warm and liquid. Just squirt or pour a little alcohol on the plate and shaft and move it back and forth with your screwdriver. But you also want to check to make sure it's still okay and able to go smoothly from all the way open to all the way closed, right before you start up. If you have to, clean it again. If the valve is really badly stuck or gunked up, you may need to take the whole governor off to clean it more thoroughly. We'll cover how to take apart and clean the governor in the advanced course on maintenance.